I got a PlayStation 4 and some accessories. I'm hoping that I can kind of use some of this stuff to make some more videos during the off season. So in this video, I'm gonna open it up and show you what I got and then maybe you can give me some tips on how to use it. All right, first, in the big bag, I have the PlayStation 4 console with some game called Uncharted A Thief's End 4, I guess. I'm not familiar with Uncharted 1 through 3, so I guess this is a free game based off of the picture. Um, I'm not really sure if anyone's interested in watching that, since I think a lot of my subscribers are baseball fans. In this bag over here, I picked up a headset so that I can put some commentary in while I'm playing the game. Um, not really sure how it all hooks up yet. That's something I have to figure out. I also bought this video game called MLB The Show 2016. That's the main thing I plan on playing. And the last thing I got was this game capture device, Elgato, which supposedly will allow me to record what I'm playing in good quality rather than me setting up my camera on a tripod and recording the TV screen. So that's everything I got. It's my PlayStation 4. Um, my PlayStation 4 purchase here. All right, let's open up this uh, open up this box. First, I'm gonna need some scissors. So here we have the PS4. I did have a PS3. I actually still have a PS3, but I haven't actually played a, a video game on it since I want to say 2010. This reminds me of like one of those big 5,000 count or 4,000 count boxes of, of baseball cards. Do you ever have those? Like you'd open it up and there'd just be like columns filled with baseball cards. That's what this looks like to me. Let's take a look at what we got here. This is the actual PlayStation. Looks almost like my crappy Dell laptop from like 2008. I have to like figure this out. This is like second nature to everybody else, but does this lay down or stand up? PlayStation, Uncharted, manuals, one controller, some wires, cheap set of headphones, and that's everything that came out of the box. All right, you got the plastic off. Okay, so there it is, that is tiny. Alright, so it looks like, according to this, looks like I plug the Elgato into the TV with an HDMI. HDMI goes into the PlayStation. And I guess I just download wirelessly the stuff I record, maybe? I'm gonna need some help on this, guys. All right, here's the game, and will be the show. Um, I'm gonna need some tips, maybe some advice. What should I do for videos with the show? Should I do like a season and, and play, uh, like pick a team and play a full season out? Should I do home run derbies? Should I do road to the show? Should I do Diamond Dynasty? What else is there? I haven't played the show in, in probably, what, three or four years. So let me know if you have any ideas of what I should do with this game. Well, didn't do a very good job opening this box up. This is the headset. Another cord. Not a big fan of all the cords and stuff going on here. I thought that I'd be going more wireless.
blow dry. Do not eat. All right, that's gonna have to go in the trash immediately before my kids find it. I'm hoping to make some videos with the PlayStation 4 with the show. I figure I could use it to do some cool giveaways throughout the off season. Maybe play some of you on the game. You'll probably just destroy me. The other thing I wanted to talk about today was yesterday I won an award on the site My Game Balls. Um, it's a website for ball hawks around the country to keep track of their statistics, such as total baseball snagged games attended and so on here's a clip from the awards show which was live streamed on youtube last night to announce the winner uh, the sportsmanship award is uh something that uh you do see i know the nba has it and uh maybe in a couple other sports i'm not sure or for uh a guy that's kind of well known for um having you know honor integrity um generosity uh, just kind of an all-around good ambassador for uh for ball hawking so so that was that's the sportsmanship award and uh got a lot of votes for this um the votes were spread out a lot a lot of different people got votes on this um but i will quickly um just mention the top five here so the number five uh was nick peliskak from uh pittsburgh Number four was uh, Cook and Son Bats, Todd Cook and Sons. Number three was Cole Atkins. Number two uh, was Zach Campbell. And the winner of the Sportsmanship Award uh, from Pittsburgh. Uh, so congrat congratulations to Eric for winning the first ever Sportsmanship Award at MyGameBalls.com. Oh, in case... You couldn't hear. Uh, it was a little bit breaking up there, Alan. But Eric Japs wins the Sportsmanship Award, so congratulations to Eric. Um, I'm sure Eric will also be up there when it comes to uh, Ball Hawk of the Year. So we'll find that out another hour or so. But I just wanted to thank all of you that participated in the My Game Balls voting and voted me for the Sportsman of the Year. That's actually a pretty cool distinction uh it's a, it's a lot different than ball hawk of the year ball hawk of the year is overall numbers and sportsmanship there's a lot more going on behind just a total number of baseballs as some of you might know zach campbell won the ball hawk of the year this year i came in second place and quite frankly he deserved it he had i think 39 more baseballs than me this year and an incredible 11 game home runs. But anyway, to thank you guys for your support all season long, a few of you had asked me in my previous video earlier this week when I went into my storage unit about all these shirts that I sell. Um, I've decided to give you all an opportunity to have these shirts for basically at cost. Um, I have bought these shirts for anywhere between $0.49 cents for the Kevin Euclid shirts all the way up to usually about six ninety nine. A few of these were nine ninety nine, but most of these I paid between like five to ten dollars for. So as a thank you I've decided to put my entire store at fifty percent off every shirt and also free shipping. And if you do end up buying a shirt, in your PayPal payment there's a little box that says send a message to seller where you can attach a little note to your payment. Type in Jab's family so I know that you're a subscriber, and I'll toss you in a free pack of baseball cards from the 1980s, and I'll also put in one of those Honus Wagner reprint cards that I gave away last week. Thanks again for all your support, and watching, subscribing, commenting, and liking the videos. Just as a reminder, I'm giving away this $100 Will Middlebrooks, Boston Red Sox jersey this week. I will give it away on Wednesday, November 16th. To win it, all you have to do is enter my raffle by simply commenting on my videos this week or retweeting my video links on Twitter. My Twitter is at JabsFamily. Or by being the first person to leave a comment, I will put you in the raffle five times for that. Good luck.